Hello everybody, my name is Planner Pete and welcome back to Playa Carmen. Today we are going to be focusing on this area of the city here. Uh, first off, we're going to zone in some mid-rise development to transition from this higher density part of town towards the train station. Then we're going to have some more transition zone, followed by a TOD district adjacent to the train station. Uh, in addition to this, we're going to extend our light rail line down to the train station. And that is where I think we're going to start for today. So let's dive in. Let's orient ourselves to the light rail first um, and go into its current terminus. Um, and it looks like, yes, indeed, the game is paused. We don't need to keep it that way. We can get the game running. So um, the train currently stops right here next to this dog park. And we're going to go ahead and uh, update the tracks to run all the way down this street and probably adding a stop right here just before the turn. And then um, after the turn, we'll add the new terminus here next to the train station. So let's go ahead and get going with that. First things first, we need to go into our road, our roads, excuse me, and uh, locate our tram tracks. Let's figure out which tram tracks we were using actually and go ahead and grab those. I think it's the four lane, yeah. We can just use the picker mod and grab those and then go to our upgrade tool and it's a little slow. Do, do, do. Take it all the way down. We'll leave this one here because this one's actually going to be our end of the line station, which means we have to pick this train tram track and put it in just like that. That looks really good. Um, I'm actually going to yeah, switch it over to that side so that the people are closer to the train station. And then we actually want to um, pause and go into the tram settings. And let's see, yeah. Adjust our station back. Oops, I can't do that because of this guy, can I? Uh, let, me, let me try and add a stop. There we go. Then I can extend this. That's what I'll do. I'll extend this guy all the way down there. And then I've got to upgrade this guy to this guy. There it is. That's what we wanted. Now we'll go back to the stops. Move that there. Add one there. Well, let's find a midpoint here. I, I really do think it's about right here, don't you? You got density there, dense. Yeah, I think that's our spot. So we'll add one more here. Oh, there we go. Now we've got our tram stops all set up. So I think I think that about does it. Let's see if this station end looks pretty good. It does, except for um, we have to get our, whoops, <laughs> wrong mod there. We have to get um, some of our flags turned on. So I definitely, uh, let's see, get in here. I want definitely want the fence, want our short wall or our curb uh, adjacent to the tracks there. Um, change the platform to cobblestone and I think that's really the only thing I want to do. So I can turn off adaptive networks and I think we're ready to get that going. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick save just to make sure we've got everything the way we want it um, from a network standpoint. Let's see if that train will get going the way we want it to. Nope, it'll have to reset. That's just fine. So now that we've got our tram in there, let's put this mid-level zone, mid zoning in. I'm thinking we're going to need some new city services in this transition area between the mid-rise zoning and the TOD. But for now, we can go ahead and get a new district painted in. And this will be our mid-rise zoning. So we'll put this adjacent to what we've got there today. And just give me a minute while I paint this in here.
Alrighty, there is our new district. I haven't checked out my district names in a little while. Let's see what they are called. Um, Fawn Hills, I'm not sure about that one. We've got downtown over here. Um, we have Midtown here for the transition zone. So maybe we do, maybe this is Uptown towards the TOD. I like, oops, <laughs> if we could spell that right. There we go, Uptown, that'll do it. Now, I think this is, I think I'll probably put in a park, but otherwise I really just want this to be residential. So um, I'll go ahead and get that turned on. Um, outside of, let's see, we don't need a dog park. This is probably too big. Do I have anarchy on? No, I don't. Let's see, line tool can go up there. Um, I do have Anarchy turned on. We don't need that just yet. So let's go back to the Parks tool. Oh, well that's a great fit. Um, yeah, let's put that right there. Very nice. Very nice. Wonderful, wonderful location for that. Um, and then I think the rest of it, let's check for our pipes. I don't think we have the pipes. We do not have the pipes. So... We need to get the pipes installed. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Our pipes are in place. Um, so now we can start the zoning for Uptown. Let's put in some high density residential and see what happens. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's make sure I've got my, uh, yep, okay. There is a high rise band there, so we're all good. Let's go back to watching it grow in. I'm gonna add some office use because we are experiencing quite a bit of demand for that right now in the city. And I think that'll help supercharge this portion of growth. So I'm going to put some office uses right in the middle of Uptown. You can see those fill in pretty much immediately. And that barely makes a dent in our demand. So let me add a little bit more here. There we go. Let's see how that does to help Uptown fill in. Get maybe a different angle on its growth now. Okay, we've got some infill happening, um, maybe about a two-thirds filled in which is pretty good um, and there's still lots and lots of uh, job demand so um, for both industrial and office so I don't think we're going to fully satiate that right now but I have some plans for this area that will help with that so we'll keep it going at three times speed to help fill that in but for now um, I'm thinking that um, maybe a little commercial would be of good use as well as um, an opportunity to get some additional uh, city services in this area. So um, let's do some districting. I see two more districts, one with this um, area here and one with this area here. Um, I think, you know what, they may end up being the same just with different zoning. So let's try first to do the district all as one. And if that doesn't work, we can break it up.
rather simple with my nomenclature here. Just going to call this one the station district if I can get my clicker right. There we go. And let me check first, make sure, okay, inner city trains are allowed, but you know what? We don't have electricity to this yet, which probably means it's not operating. So um, that's on me. The trains are moving through it, but no trains are stopping. So that's a bit of a problem. We'll have to troubleshoot that once we get some electricity down. Although I kind of want to see it working now, don't you? So um, let's get some power lines going, because why not? There we go. So now this bad boy will power on and we can see if any uh, if any trains might be coming our way. We've got some uh, service vehicles coming through, but we'll have to wait and see if the trains get going. So now it's gonna be a little fun. I, w I need to do some really focused work here and I'll have to think about this a bit. Um, like I mentioned, I wanna do some commercial, but I also wanna do city services and we've got our our train station right here. So I really wanna be mindful of that and make sure there's some focused development around it. So I'm thinking city services, probably not quite on this main drag. Maybe maybe this block could be good because that would also put them close to this collector. Yeah, let's do that. So first things first, we'll take a look at healthcare. Our major hospital's over here and it's got coverage way, way through uptown, but we don't get all the way into the station district. So I'll put Put a clinic here on the corner um, and maybe I'll move that around in a little bit and then we'll also want to check death care here I don't think oh yeah we definitely need some death care so I'll put that right next to the clinic in a super optimistic way maybe I'll put death care back here um, next next up we've got to look at our fire coverage also I think we just need a small firehouse because you can see our big firehouse is doing great, great work. So um, I think we'll put these like that. And similarly with police, we'll get a small police station in across the street. Um, now, I just remembered a very important piece of the healthcare system that I have been remiss on in placing in the city, and that's the child health care as well as um, the elder care. I don't have any of that in my city. Look at this, no coverage. So um, we're gonna go ahead and find a space for that in the flats, uh, just to make sure there's some coverage in the city. Uh, and then we can work on incorporating some, uh, some more uses like this in other locations. So I really need to kind of center the, you know what, this area right here would be really good. Okay, let's go for it. I think there's just housing in here. Yeah, perfect. So we'll get one use right there, and then we'll get the other one. Let's see if we can fit this across the street. We can perfectly. Oh, that's great. I really needed those uses. So let's make sure our zoning is still intact. It is, oh, almost intact. Now it is intact. Looks like we're missing some zoning here. Um, I think we're in a pretty good place. So. I'll kind of optimize that house site. Um, yeah, that looks great. So, uh, very happy to get those uses in there. Thank you for that detour. And oh no, oh no, what happened over here? Oh, phew, just forest fire. We don't have fire protection services via helicopter yet. So, unfortunately, this beautiful landscaping by our farm area was uh, destroyed. You can see the the crispy little tops of these palm trees all sticking up and all of our little goats and sheepies and pigs and everybody still safe and sound in their pens which is good so uh, let's go back over to our TOD district and see how this is doing um, the midtown area really is filled in nicely or the uptown area I mean so that's nice it's turning out well um, still plenty of office and commercial demand so we'll take advantage of that in the station district and you know i'm thinking let's see what else from a city services perspective those are the four big ones i think we need definitely need some parks and we need to think about schools too so yeah we definitely need another school our um high capacity 
elementary school is being gobbled up by all this high density demand. So uh, let's let's get make sure we get a um, elementary school and see if we need a high school too. That's a library. That's a that's a university. Where's our high school? That's a high school. Okay. Um, it looks like we might. Looks like we might, especially with all the high density uses. So. Um, this is a bit congested. I don't love this, but I'm okay to do it. And what I really want is a park with these uses, and I think we're going to have to relocate some things. Okay, that looks really nice. We've got a high school complex with a basketball court, we've got an elementary school complex with a small playground, and we've got uh, a useful little clinic use across the street from a crematorium. Don't mind, you know, don't take that as a sign of threat or anything if you don't get your health care. Um, and some other city services. I guess one other important use we could have is a postal, uh, a post office. We don't have a post office in this part of town, so Let's see how our coverage looks. Yeah, we're we're remiss with the postal use, so let's get that in here. We definitely need postal usage. Right behind the clinic is such a perfect location. Look at that, right on the corner. And there go our little trucks. Um, you may notice I've got some custom trucks in for these, and oh boy, I just love them. These are the cutest little vehicles. Um, I love that CS2, by the way, the postal vehicles in CS2 look like the postal vans from America. I don't know if that's going to change with the way that um, postal uses are handled um, from a regional perspective, but it's I know it's really just cute <laughs> and I really like it. So looks like we've got a garbage problem, so that's definitely a city service we need to look into. I am curious if there's any trains coming through, and it looks like we've got pass-through traffic and it's frustrating that the freight trains divert towards this front platform, but not yet seen inner city trains, so we'll have to continue to wait and see what happens there, maybe after the development comes in. Let's check, a, check our waste processing. Ah, yes, we're still focusing all of our waste processing, primarily in the industrial industry area and by Triangle Square. So one of the things we'll have to take a look at is how best to allocate some new services. I am going to be implementing waste transfer facilities and a waste processing complex, but not quite yet. That's another project. So I think for now, um, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to use a bit of a cheat. Um, you can see our garbage processing status is filling up. So I shouldn't say cheat. I should really say cheese. And I don't know why it's showing me the line tool. That's definitely Oh, because it's <laughs> for a recycling center. I guess, I guess I could do that, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> so what I want to do is make a little road um, and just just pop this out a bit, so that um, it's a bit away from the uses. And I'll add I'll add two waste processing facilities here, or sorry, recycling centers here, so that this usage can start to function. These will be relocated in the future, but for now, it will give us some waste processing complex, uh, or waste processing capacity rather, and address the, the needs of this side of town and um, be a stopgap until we get the waste processing complex in place. Okay, so what now? Um, well, now we can begin uh, to do a little of our park development and then put in some zoning. So first things first, um, I want to think about parks for the whole district, and I'm really excited to put in some parks from our pedestrian uh, and promenades DLC. And I think um, the food truck, or maybe the small fountain plaza, would be really pretty right in front of the station. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to turn off our white grid. Yeah, I definitely want that right by the station on this corner. Um, that's just a beautiful use to have there, complemented with the station. And um, I've already bobbed the trees on that one. And let's see if the... F oh my goodness, look at that. Did we get a train full of people? We must have gotten a... Well, look at, look at all of those people. 
Are you kidding me? That is madness. <laughs> Holy cow. That is absolute, whoopsies, what did I just do? Um, that is absolute madness. So um, very, very impressive <laughs> to see all of that. Um, I can't believe, where is the train? Where did the train go? Is this our train? Looks like there's a train over here. This is a train. Um, let's see if it's the train. That's a very full train, and it's going to our station, so... Um, it might be this guy. Was it this one? Yeah, this one has very few, so maybe it was this one. And let's see, we might get a whole... a whole another shed load of passengers. Here we go, a whole nother crew. Look at them all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is insane. That is way too many people for the tram. Wow. Let, we got to take a peek at the tram line. We got to take a peek before they get picked up. How many people are waiting at that station? I can't even imagine. That's, that's hundreds and hundreds of people. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, 550 people, and the trams are totally chock full. Totally chock full. Um, very, very large numbers of people. So, definitely to process this, I'm going to add, I'm going to put it up to 20. We have a pretty long line now, so hopefully that doesn't get too crowded. Um, and I also have to check and see if this is the, if we're using the highest capacity vehicle. I think, I think we are. 132. We could go up to 140. I don't know that that makes a difference. So I don't want all these trams to disappear. So let's just add two. Um, and yeah, see how this goes. Holy cow. What an exciting influx of people for our city. The trams are coming through in pretty rapid fashion. So hopefully, wow. Yeah, hopefully they start chipping away at this number. Um, but yeah, you can see, look at all that. I might need to get better train boarding mod. I don't think I have that one with the deal with all... Look at all these people. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. You can see they're, 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 they're moving down the platform. They're winnowing down. This is good. This is good news. We're making progress. But wow, that was exciting. Okay. Next up, more parks development. Uh, I was thinking of doing the food truck plaza. Let's see how that looks. Uh, that looks okay. I don't love that the tiles are different. I'd love to be able to change the tiles. And I, yeah, I don't think you can. These you can change, but it's only to a, like a sandstone or another variation like that. And I like the, the middle one. So, <laughs> you know what? I'll do it for now, but I'm kind of inclined to do something different. Um, I'll have to think about that because Ice cream's definitely not the way to go. Um, and one of these large plazas isn't the way either. I mean, you know, yeah, not the statue plaza. Well, it could be the statue plaza. Nah. I could double up on the fountain plaza, but I think I'll stick with the food trucks. Food trucks are fun. Um, we'll keep it that way for now. That'll be our, our welcome area, and then the rest I think will be development. Um, in this area, there's a couple things I want to do. Um, Uh-oh, fire time. So I am... I see, I'm going back and forth on whether or not I divvy this up into a um, two-district area. And I'm, the more I think about it, the more I think I want to. I think I want to keep this half of the station district looking like this, and then this half as wall-to-wall. -wall to make it really look like a denser TOD area. So I think, okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep it all as wall to wall, but see, I'm worried about these curves not looking so good. Let's, let's just stick with it. I'll add the zoning specializations and we'll, we'll see how it goes, okay? So we'll do commercial wall to wall. We'll do office, oops, not IT, definitely not IT. Um, what am I doing? change it back there we go and uh, residential wall-to-wall -wall. so we've got all three of those now we can start doing some zoning after we finish our parks I didn't quite finish my parks now did I so we've got hotels we've got hotels now that's a fun idea um, 
That's a very fun idea. I wonder if I could get enough of all those things to do. I've never, I haven't played the hotel DOC yet. Let's see. Um, I could put a hotel right by the station. I could put two hotels right by the station across from the food truck plaza. It's kind of a fun idea, actually. Drop in a couple hotels. Um, they kind of have the right vibe. And it's appropriate for TOD, so why the heck not? We'll see if this... Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll see if this works. They've already got... Nature's going to be hard. I'll have to do some landscaping here, see if that makes a difference. Ooh, choo-choo. Oh my god, look at all these people coming in. I love it when these trains go arrive. Holy cow. This is the best. This is absolutely the best. Oh, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. It's non-stop. That is so wild. And we've we've got the frequencies. The headways are such that they're they're chipping away, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um Let's see, what does this need? Shopping. I think that's commercial. Yep, commercial zones. This is office. So we can put in some commercial and office and see if we can't um, bring it up a bit. Thirty-three parks and unique buildings, so um, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can focus on this first. I know I'm deviating a bit from my plan, but that's quite all right. Um, we'll do that and that just to plop some things in and see what happens. I'll get some landscaping going too. I'm just excited to try this. I've never, like I said, I've never done this this little game mechanic before, so. Put on tree anarchy, get our trees going adjacent to the right of way, but not quite in the right of way. Can't be too close to the tracks. Ooh, that's a little, that's a little close. That's better. Let's see. Yeah, that one's a little close too. Just a little rotation will do the trick, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's enough coverage, and then there's plenty of shade on the sidewalk. Okay, so how are these buildings looking now? Well, they've definitely got plenty of office, but they need more commercial. And none of those trees did anything for the... Okay, well, maybe we won't get those, but if we can get the rest of this commercial... Um, which I think will be pretty easy and will be in pretty good shape if these two can fill in. Um, and I can do a unique building and more tourist stuff over here and then uh, hopefully get some decent numbers on these guys. Um, that's fun. Cool. I love having a little hotel. That's neat. All right. More parks. Focus on the parks. Um, Oh my, we don't need to go into all the props and everything like that. Oops. Um, don't have any of the pet area stuff unlocked. That's totally fine. Um, I think a plaza with trees could work really well here, but it doesn't fit, so we'll avoid that. Um, <laughs> the birthday plaza would look absolutely ridiculous. And we'll go back to our regular parks. So... A dog park is too big. Um, yeah, I just can't justify that. I can do unique buildings, though. Would make some sense. Definitely not the finance. Uh, not any of this stuff. Although this is kind of a giant one. Um, hmm. Oh. Ooh, a cinema could be fun. And that fits. That totally fits. Right by, oh my god, I love this. What if we did a cinema abutting this final train station? That would be a total TOD thing to have. I'm doing it. I'm totally doing it. Look at that. Yeah, why not? And we could put some trees behind to cover the ugly wall. I love this, and maybe the trees will help with our landscaping. Um, 
Stuff's leveling up. This is a good sign. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That looks pretty nice on the back. I can I can roll with this, and the park the parks are happening. Let's see if this likes it. 78, 78, and 76. I can okay. I'm gonna give us some more money. I'm gonna try full prop, full. This one's up at 75. That one's up at 75. Yeah. Making 240 a week on both of them. I accept. I completely accept. This is so fun. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this mini game's kind of neat. I like it. Um, I'll have to play around with that some more. But for now, let's get uh, another park in here. I want one down in this area. And there's space for a big one, which is nice. I could do a custom park, but I, I'm not really in the mood. So um, we'll grab this guy. Oh, that, you know what? I could. I could. Um, hmm. That's pretty tempting, actually. And I kind of want to do it. TOD zones are really good when there's open space. And I kind of just want to make a big chunk of open space. Um, do something like that. That's kind of what I want to do. And let me turn off zoning on one side of this road. Uh, the other side, please. Yeah, there we go. Um, that way we have better zoning on this road. And let me get some paths put in through here. And then we'll start having some fun. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's quite good. Okay, we still need tons of office. So let's turn off Tree Anarchy and get back to our office zoning. I'm gonna do a lot of that right here. And excuse me, I need a quick sip of coffee. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to do commercial around our public services and schools campus. And then, yeah, we really need more office, don't we? So all of this, all of this is going to go office. I'll we'll put a nice path right down the middle here. Okay, now what? Um, we can delete this power line, that's one thing. We don't need extra maintenance costs. Um, let's see, how are our people doing? Still got tons of people coming to the trade, which I absolutely love. We'll check out our tram levels at the end of the episode. Um, but we gotta keep zoning. We still have so much demand. Um, we just got to keep that moving. Now, people need to be living um, close to the train station. And there's probably some noise issues because I dropped that cinema. So let's take a peek. Yeah, there is a little bit of noise. So let's get some office ringing this. Office is actually quite um, well suited. Office and commercial are quite well suited for land uses adjacent to transit. So um, we can put that right around here. Put that on the corner and then put that this way. And that'll really help our demand too. And then we can start um, putting in some residential behind that. I'm actually gonna put in a little more. Well, maybe I'll put, I don't know where, I, I, I think I want the residential by the park. So I'll do that and I'll put some more office here. And maybe we do the commercial on this side of the park. Leave some space for landscaping. Yeah, that looks 
really good. Income's good, population's good. Looking pretty nice. Um, only about two more blocks to go. Um, I'm gonna fill this with in, in with commercial. And this middle zone looks real messy. Uh, I'm gonna take the zoning off of this road to clean it up a bit. Oops, there we go. I think I, okay, <laughs> we can roll with that. I'm gonna do about half office, half residential there, I think. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm really gonna do all office here. And then maybe, maybe like this, half to buffer the commercial and then put in residential on the back side in between. And let's see how that goes. Well, things are pretty well filled in at this point. You can see there's still some growth happening around the park, but um, otherwise I'm pretty happy. So um, let's zoom around a little bit, take stock of what's happened today and kind of get an assessment. Um, you can see looking from the station, we have such an active TOD district. I mean, just look at these people. They continue to stream out with every train and rush down to the tram platform, which fortunately the trams are coming um, just every few seconds really, because there's so much capacity on this line. So um, they're clearing fairly efficiently, but oh my gosh, the trains coming in, the tourist demand is huge. So I'm also curious how our inner city buses are doing. And um, yeah, the hotels are really cute right here next to the food truck plaza. The cinema is beautiful. Um, all this development's filling in nicely. We have the park here. Landscaping is definitely required. You're gonna have to come in and fill some trees, but you can see Uptown has filled in quite nicely with all of these buildings taking stock and transitioning from the higher density in downtown. And um, overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm really, I'm really pleased with this. I think it looks quite nice. So, you know, I think that's where we're gonna end it today. Um, thanks so much for joining me. I uh, really appreciated you being here and watching the city grow. And uh, until next time, I'm Planner Pete, and this is Playa Carmen. Thanks so much.